Welcome back to National Report. I'm Rob Finnerty in for Sean Kreisman. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki saying the Biden FBI will now be focusing on domestic terrorism. Take a listen. I also have some news to share uh, on the president's response to domestic violent extremism, the January 6th assault on the Capitol, and the tragic deaths and destruction that occurred uh, underscored what we have long known. The rise of domestic violent extremism is a serious and growing national security threat. The Biden administration will confront this threat with the necessary resources and resolve. Jonathan Gilliam is a former U.S. Navy SEAL and FBI special agent and author of the book Sheep No More, The Art of Awareness and Attack Survival. Jonathan, good to have you back on National Report. Um, what do you make of President Biden asking the national security team to assess the growing threat of domestic terrorism? And do you think that that assessment will be bipartisan? Because over the weekend in Portland, we had more violent riots happening there, and the Biden administration has yet to say anything about that. You know, it's interesting. I was giving this a lot of thought last night, and the, the reality is that anytime you have to ask uh, somebody like uh, this to do an assessment, it means that somebody is not doing their job because this is what the FBI actually does. Okay, so there's really actually a, a disconnect there, and something there's an issue going on because th they should already know if or if there is not a domestic uh, terror threat in the United States. And I'm here to tell you, the, the entire time I was in the FBI, I remember getting out and listening to uh, mainstream media when I got out of the FBI in 2013, and I was on CNN with a guy, and I don't remember his name, but he was this guy, he was former FBI agent, discussing how all this white supremacy and all this domestic terror had been taking place. And from that point until now, there's been no domestic terror in this nation uh, that could be attributed to a group such as a white supremacist group that has been carried out over and over and over again. And they're confusing on purpose, I believe, what is actually terrorism and what is organized terrorism with certain groups of people that they use as examples for the to to further their cause. And I'm talking about the Democrats to further their cause. And I know this sounds ridiculous, but it's true. I mean, you can look back hmm. on history, and history shows you that the uh, this speed in which domestic terror is occurring uh, is not there. And and one thing I'll also say is that. The FBI has recently reclassified the way that they look at a lot of these uh, terror groups, and uh, I don't agree with the way that they p milk them in to certain groups, um, especially in this day and age when you have people that follow ideologies across a spectrum of different issues and are not related to each other at all but are picking up uh, and going forward with action because— they identify with what other people may say in another state or even in another country. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. We're showing some video from what happened on January 6th at the U.S. Capitol. That violence, of course, uh, tragic and something that we do not condone here uh, for obvious reasons uh, at Newsmax. Um, we've seen riots for months, for four and a half months over the summer in cities across the country, from Minneapolis to Kenosha to Portland to Denver to L.A., uh, many tragic, deadly uh, and there was a ton of violence. Um, this was not a term. There was no there was no investigation into the threat of possible domestic terrorism this summer. Uh, and right now, as President Joe Biden says he's going to look into this and make sure that his FBI does, uh, he is not bringing up what's happening in cities out west, Denver, Seattle, and particularly Portland, Oregon. Um, right now, it's being classified as an unlawful assembly. But there was tremendous violence in these riots that took place over there uh, this weekend. Well, there's, there's violence in Chicago every weekend, right? But what you have to look at is what is the motivation, what is the rhetoric, and how organized are the people that are carrying out this violence? And when you look at what is happening in Portland, it is the same exact groups with the same exact motivations and the same exact tactics, techniques, and procedures as anybody that's uh, rioting for the same reasons in Wisconsin or in uh, New York or uh, any of the other, other places, Atlanta, for instance, that they've had these riots. And this is a very important thing for the American people to realize, because when we look at January 6th and we look at why those people showed up and we look at their tactics, techniques and procedures, and we look at events before and after January 6th, we see that the organization is not there. We see that the repetition of attacks are not there. And we see that the motivation, and this is a definition of terrorism, 
to use uh, uh, to use uh, force, intimidation, and violence for political aim. That was not uh, the the objective of the people on January 6th, as opposed to the people in Portland and all around the United States that claim to be Antifa or BLM. Their aim is for a political change. There's a difference between people who want reset in government and people who want a complete change of government. And right. that's that's where the identifying people as terrorists, uh, I think the FBI and the DOJ has completely become political in who they pick and choose to label this. Jonathan Gilliam, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. All, as always, we look forward to seeing you again soon. You got it.